Ah, oh, what is that in there? Yeah. That's a Western Digital Velociraptor. 10K, one terabyte Velociraptor. Yep. It came out in 03. I got the 36 gig back then. It was pretty good. The fastest things out then for consumer level was the uh, Seagate 7200 RPM drives. Then the Raptors came out. 36 gig wasn't too good, but then they got it right with the 74 gig and larger. Uh, so I have this one in this newer computer just for fun. Uh, this thing was king of the hill for quite a while on the consumer end until these guys started coming out. Yep. And then under there is my primary hard drive. <clears throat> That's a Samsung 960 Pro NVMe. It's about the size of a stick of Wrigley chewing gum. Even smaller yet. This is another one. This is one that's out. I use these quite a bit in um, music recording, digital audio, workstation, uh, video editing. Yeah, they were a thing to have before SSD came out. So anyway, I'm going to transfer a file from this Crucial MX100. This is a couple years old also. I just freshly formatted that one terabyte Raptor. I'm going to bring a large file from this SSD over to that. So this one will be reading. The spinning Velociraptor will be writing. Let's see what kind of speed we can get here. Let's go in here first. Go in the device manager. Let's see, hard drives. All right, so that's the MX100. That's my system drive, and then this is the mechanical uh, Raptor. Close all that. There's my system drive. There's the MX100. That file right there, that second one down, that's an image of my operating system. Let's see, it is 8.57 gig. It's an 8.57 gig file. And we're going to bring it over here to the Raptor. Old school. Let's see how fast it could write. Uh oh, it's slowing down. We're down to 200 megabyte per second. 200. 200. Hardly any noise from it either, sitting right next to it. So it went pretty good. Not bad for an old, well, it's not super old, but um, older technology spinning drive. So let's send it back the other way. So I am going to delete it off the SSD right now. Now we're going to send it from the spinning mechanical hard drive of the Raptor. We'll drag it back over here to the MX100. Let's see how fast the, the Raptor can spit it out. Here it goes. This isn't scientific, it's just for fun. So here we go. Let's see what we got.
Uh-oh. The SSD is slowing down the 185. Slowing down the 185. Not too bad. Did pretty darn good. Let's try one more. How about we'll take it over to the Samsung 960 Pro NVMe. Now this guy is supposed to write at 3500. Um, but the Raptor can't spit it out that fast. But let's see what it can do. I'm going to send it there to the NVMe drive. Let's see what it does. <laughs> ah, come on, Windows. Ah, oh, now Cronus is going to bust my chops. Why is it saying that? How about if we just make a folder? Well, probably doesn't want me messing with the system drive. So we will just drag it into a dummy folder. Alright. On the Raptor. We're on the NVMe. Uh, dummy folder. Let's try it. Let's try this again. Damn. Now that Raptor spit that thing out much faster than what it's spec to read at. Let's just take a quick look at this again. All right, we're on the Raptor. You can see that is a 8.57 gigabyte file. We're gonna drag it over to NVMe. We know that the NVMe drive can take everything that any of these drives can throw at it. It's just kind of funny that this Raptor is actually spitting this data out this fast. I mean, it, I really don't think it was ever specced out to read as high as I'm seeing here. Let's do it again. Again, we're not scientific, it's just for fun. Alright, here we go. It's going from Raptor to NVMe drive. Pretty crazy. All right, I'm going to delete it from the Raptor now. And now it's on the NVMe drive. Let's see how fast the Raptor can write it. Going from NVMe to spinning mechanical drive. It's probably going to, it might start out fast. My guess is it's probably going to slow down to the two, two, three hundreds. I don't know. We'll see. Here goes. All right, so the Samsung 960 Pro spit it out initially fast, and now this is as fast as the Raptor can take it. Still took it pretty good, though, for a spinning mechanical drive. Not too shabby. All right. That's an R9. 
290 in there. Look at that guy. It's a 1950X under there. What? Optical drives? In 2018? Come on. All right, I gotta get back to work. We had our fun for today. You know, it's really a shame that they just didn't make this Velociraptor and a two terabyte drive. Because I have piles of data on hard drives, but I, one terabyte is kind of tough. So, all right, have a good day, everybody.